Hey guys, this is Brian. Today is uh, Tuesday, December 3rd, and it's about noon Central Time, 1 o'clock Eastern. Just wanted to record a quick recap from our Forex Live class this morning. We um, placed a few trades. We placed trades on the Euro USD. We had a buy and a sell. We had a buy and a sell on the pound USD as well as on the US yen. Um, unfortunately, this is one of those days where things didn't quite go in, uh, in our direction. Um, had a positive day overall, but uh, the trades we put on in class, which were right here, didn't work out for us. So we had a sell, a, a buy trade that we put on here at 35.76. Uh, we had a buy. We were trading here, pulled back. We were looking to get in at this level. Price just blipped through <laughs> and uh, came back, took us out. So blipped through, took us out. Seven and a half pip loss times times three. Remember, this is um, we're, we're trading in lots of three. So it took us out here, and then um, ultimately pushed on through, um, you know, through take profit one, take profit two. I thought we might be able to redeem ourselves on the other end of this, <laughs> and have our sell kick in for us. We had a sell trade up here that we had on at 36.14, 36.13.9. Unfortunately, we didn't quite get there. We uh, we came close, but that only counts in uh, horseshoes and hand grenades, right? We came within five pip bets, so five tenths of a pip came almost to it, uh, turned around and reversed through take profit one and two. So uh, we ultimately took a loss there on the uh, Euro USD trade that we posted, and uh, the other one didn't quite kick in for us. Um, on the pound USD, we had a buy and we had a sell here bracketed in. Um, unfortunately, neither one ever ever keyed in, so we didn't uh, we weren't able to take advantage of either one of those either. Uh, looks like this one must have been missed really solely due to um, to the uh, to the spread. So uh, again, just um, our our pound trades never never keyed in, so we weren't able to take those. We had a buy order on down here at uh, 90 at 63.90, and we had a sell order on up here at 64.41. Again, the reason for the sell, just as it was here on the uh, Euro USD, the reason we had a sell as counter trend was because we knew if we got to this area. It's kind of the end of the buffet line, as Forex Show likes to say, and uh, it's the end of the ADR, top of the average daily range. So if we did push that high, it's a great spot to look for reversals. Um, does that mean it's always going to reverse there? Absolutely not. It could go another 150 pips beyond it, but we know the laws of probability are working in our favor, and then if uh, you know price does push to a high level like this and really extends what the average daily range is, that we would have a good opportunity to look for reversals. Unfortunately, um, we didn't quite get down on the euro USD and the pound USD um, just kind of stayed very range bound for the day and uh, for the US session anyway so far and uh, never keyed us in on our buy or our sell. Uh, the last one that we took was the um, Aussie. We had a, I'm sorry, it was the uh, US yen. We had a sell order on on the yen. Same thing. We had a sell order here at 102.57. And uh, price came to it. We were trading here. It pulled back to this area, but then pushed on through and took us out for a stop and hit our stop loss for negative 7.7. And that's across, um, you know, all three lots. So you have to multiply that by three to be consistent with how we calculate our gains. Um, then it came back and moved through, went right on through, take profit one and two. But um, again, that uh, doesn't really count for us, does it? Since uh, uh, you know, we had already been stopped out on that trade. So ultimately, that trade didn't key in. Then we had a buy order down here at 102.13. Again, uh, looking at what the average range typically is on this pair and looking for our next level of support. And uh, we just didn't quite get to it. So uh, didn't quite get there. So that trade did not key in as well. So ultimately, in class, the uh, the trades we had in class today, we had two losses. Um, you know, both for um, about 20, 20 plus pips a peach. So, uh, you know, we took around uh, 44 pips as a loss for the day. So uh, we'll, we'll live the trade again. We, we remember we always keep our losses low. We want to make sure that our risk is 1% uh, or less, keep our losses low, and uh, we'll live the trade another day so that we can, uh, so we can be back on Friday for non-farm payroll and do it all again. So there you have it. You guys have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon.